I'm Shiho Sugimoto. I'm a student of Kyushu University, Japan, and this is joint work with Tomohiro I, Shunsuke Inanaga, Hideo Bannai, Masayuki Takeda from Kyushu University. And Tomohiro I is currently working at Technical University of Dortmund. First, I want to introduce the definition of the caveats of strings. When the union of intervals con contains those positions of string, then this set is called a cover of string. There exist several kinds of covers with specific properties. There, the most well-known cover is such that all the string correspond to the intervals are equal, which looks like this for this string. Another example of covers is called Abelian cover, where all substrings corresponding to the intervals are permutation of the first interval. This is recently considered by Matsuda et al. And this is an example of an Abelian cover of this string. This is a definition of factorizations of string. A mutually joint cover of a string W is called a factorization of string W. And each interval of a factorization is called a factor. And this may be the most well-known factorization is LZ77. And this is a non self wrapping variant of LZ77 factorization for this string. Another example is the Linden factorization, which looks like this for the same string. As you can see, there are several kinds of covers and factorizations of strings. In this work, we consider covers and factorizations with palindromes. And I want to propose efficient algorithms to compare them. When a string W is symmetric from its center position, then it is called a palindrome. Here is an example of palindromes. The this is a surname of the first set of this paper, which is the shortest and narrowest palindrome in the world. The next is Reska. It is one palindrome. And this is a curled palindrome, which is mathematically correct. The last one is my favorite Japanese palindrome. I can read yo no na ka ne ka o ka o ka ne ka na no yo. It means what is important in this world is money or legs. It means my favorite Japanese palindrome. Then there exists a previous work which Consider the factorization of the string with palindromes. Impra has during the conference 2013, Alatabi Atwari proposed smallest maximal palindromic factorization with use a minimum number of maximal palindromes. They showed how to compute the factorization of a given string in linear time and linear space in an offline manner. The following is a result of our work. We show how to compute a smallest maximal palindromic factorization in an online manner in order analog and time and linear space. Note that 
Our algorithm is slower than Alatavi at Ali's algorithms, but our algorithms can comp three. Yeah, our uh, our algorithm can compute the smallest maximum palindromic factorization of all pa prefixes of given string. Yeah, three. Okay, sorry. And we introduced a new kind of factorization called the smallest palindromic factorization, where the palindromes do not have to be maximal. This can be computed online in order analog and time and linear space too. Independently of our works, Fiji et al. obtained the same result for smallest palindromic factorization. And their paper is available on ACAB. We are then, we also propose a new kind of cover called smallest palindromic cover, which covers a string with a minimum number of palindromes. This can be computed in linear time and linear space. In this work, I explain only smallest palindromic factorization and smallest palindromic cover because SMP of smallest maximum palindromic factorization can be computed in a similar way to SPF. And I explain palindromic cover first. This is a definition of palindromic covers. If the substrings corresponding to the intervals in the cover are palindromes, then it is called a palindromic cover. A string can have many palindromic covers for this string. An example of a palindromic cover is this. Remark that all intervals correspond to palindromes. Another example of palindrome, another example of palindrome cover is this. All these purple intervals correspond to palindromes and cover all the positions. Note that every string has at least one palindrome cover because a single character is a palindrome. This is a program to solve. We want to compute a smallest palindrome cover of a given string, which contain minimum number of intervals corresponding to palindromes. This is an um, example of a smallest palindrome cover of this string. In general, there can be many smallest palindrome covers through the same string. We want to compute one of them. Now, I explain the basic idea of our algorithm. It is not difficult to see that the number of palindromes in the string can be quadratic. And therefore, a naive algorithm to compute SPC takes or uh, n squared time. However, we show how to compute it in linear time using only Maki small palindromes. In the next slide, I explain what maximal palindromes are. This is a definition of maximal palindromes. If a substring of W is a palindrome and cannot be extended to left and right, 
then it is called a Makishima pendulum of W. This is an example of a Makishima pendulum. Position 6 is called the center of this Makishima pendulum. And this is another example of Makishima pendulum with center 14.5. And it is clear that the number of Makishima pendulums of string of length n is 2 and minus 1. So all pendulums of string w are substrings of some Makishima pendulums of string w. Because we want to cover this input string with fewest pendulums, it suffices to consider only Makishima pendulums. And Manichi showed all Makishima pendulums can be computed in aura and time. Additionally, we use a well known algorithm which computes the smallest cover of 2 and minus 1 intervals in order and time. Therefore, a smallest pandemic cover can be compared in order and time. I show how our algorithm can put a smallest pandemic cover on this example. There are all maximal pandromes. And we're glad to choose the pandrome reaching the furthest position to the right. So first, which is the longest pendulum, starting at position one, like that. Then the remaining pendulums are chosen gradually from left to right, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a smallest pendulum cover. It is also possible to extend this algorithm online, but I omit details due to lack of time. Now, I turn to a factorization of a string with pendulums. When all factors over factorization, factorization of string W are pendulums, it is called a pendulumic factorization of string W. This is an example of a pandemic factorization of this string. Observe that each factor is pandemic. Then, when the number of factors of a pandemic factorization of string W is minimal, it is called the smallest pandemic factorization of string W. This is an example of a uh, smallest pandemic factorization of this string. As is the case with smallest pandemic covers, there can be many smallest pandemic factorizations. And we want to compute one of them. We propose an algorithm to compute a smallest pandemic factorization online. The online means that we scan the input string w from left to right, and at each position i, we compute the length of the last factor of the smallest pandemic factorization of w1 to i. And assume we have process w1 to i minus 1, and think about computing the length of the last factor of the smallest pandemic factorization of w1 to i. We use uh, dynamic programming to compute it. A key observation is that any smallest pandemic factorization of W1 to I has one of the suffix pandemic, like that. However, the number of suffix pendulums ending at position i can be omega, omega i. 
So a naive dynamic programming algorithm takes all the n squared time. To become this, we show that at each position i, it suffices to consider only all the log i fix premiums. In the next slide, I will show you the reason why. We will use the result of apostolico et ali, which shows that there are all the log and different periods for suffix palindromes. In this example, these six palindromes can be divided to three groups, pink and red and blue. In each group, the palindrome mix. In each group, the palindromes, except for the shortest one, have the same period, and the ranks of all palindromes in the same group from a single arithmetic progression. For example, the rings of the pink uh, one. One, three, and five, because the shortest is one. Shortest, the length of shortest is one, and the next is three, and the last is five, and the period is two. And we can maintain these groups online in all the analog and time because they are periodic. Consider a group of suffix palindromes with respect to period D, which is shown by like blue arrows. For any position J, let KJ be the size of the smallest palindromic factorization of W1 to J. Let K I D be the size of a small respiratory factorization of W1 to I, which has a suffix parindrum with period D. Mm -hmm. for, for each parindrum except, except for the shortest one, there is a parindrum ending at position I minus D shown by an orange arrow. By this observation, this formula, this, this formula obtained, where L is the length of the shortest palindrome of this group, also became we have already pro processed positions one to i minus one. We have already computed k i minus d d, so we can process each group of suffix palindromes in constant time. Therefore, at each position i, it takes all the log n log i time, so in total, it takes all the n log n time. And I show the relationships between the size of palindrome curve and factorization. Uh, some strings don't have a maximum palindrome factorization, like this example. On the other hand, all strings have a palindrome cover and palindrome factorization. And for any string W, we have the following relationship between the size of smallest palindrome cover, smallest palindrome factorization, and smallest maximal pandemic factorization. If W does not have a maximal pandemic factorization, then we will got the size of SMPF as infinity. This is an example, and the size of SMPF is 4, and the size of SPF is 3, 
and this PC is to like this. And this is our conclusion. We presented algorithms which compute a smallest palindromic covering on the on time offline and online, and a smallest palindromic factorization on the analog and time online, a smallest maximal palindromic factorization in all the analog and time online. And this is open pro th these are open programs. First is enumerating all smallest palindromic covers. The second is enumerating all smallest palindromic factorizations. And the last one is computing a palindromic factorization where each factor is distinct. That's all, thank you very much. Questions? Travis? So I hold it like this. Okay. Um, so this is sort of related to the stuff Ami was saying. So I've been thinking, since he said that, I've been thinking it would be nice to be able to do a decomposition with errors. So I think it might still be possible to do, sort of figure out how, for e uh, any given number of errors, What's the minimal uh, palindromic factorization with that number of errors? Maybe still in n square time. Um, do you think it's possible? I don't see how to. Do you think it's possible to deal with errors? Sorry. So, so it's like almost a palindromic factorization, except one of these characters mm -hmm. is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, like if I take a palindrome and I, I just change one of the characters, it's not a palindrome anymore. But, but so this seems. It's not really a question. It's just to get the question out there. And Can you an answer the question? question. Mm -hmm. Can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? Sorry, I can't understand it. Sorry, about I'm not good intro at Introducing approximation. Approximation. <laughs> it's too hard. I'll, I'll ask you later. <laughs> okay, another question? Uh, an answer? Well, oh. sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm not really good. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> offline, offline. Okay. You want to answer, Shunsuke? I don't think so because the periodicity breaks, so analog games uh, can be difficult. Have you, have you considered also the notion of partial palindromic cover? You mean with some parts that are not entirely covered by uh, long palindromes? Right, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yes, in some sense. I think, in, yeah, in some Restricted cases it would be possible because there's some result on the periodicity of strings with holes, but uh, but it only holds some specific cases. So yeah, in general it might be difficult. Okay, any other question? Thank you again. Thank you.